I'd like to start with a question. If you wanted to find the most popular and the freshest information on the web, where would you go? What tool would you use? You might think of Google, or Yahoo, or Bing. But that's not actually the problem that those tools are designed to solve. They're great search engines, but they're not good discovery tools, and they specifically don't deal with the real-time web. Wow is a new kind of search engine that is designed to solve exactly that problem. Ah, and surprise, the click works perfectly. <laughs> I think it, let's see if it continues to work. So we think of traditional search as being reference search through a set of documents. The user experience is very specifically, you approach an empty text box, and you type in something that you already know about, and you hit go. And what happens is you're given more information about this thing that you already know about. And behind the scenes, what's happening is there are crawlers that pull in pages and chase links from those pages and build up an index. And links are used in two very specific ways. One, of course, they're used to find new pages. And two, they're used to do ranking. So this really is all about reference search through a set of documents. And it worked really, really well in Web 1.0. What's happened, though, is there's a new fast-moving layer of information that defines Web 2.0, and it's conversational in nature. So people are talking, apparently talking a lot more than they're listening, which is probably true. And what's happening is they're using various sorts of web-based technologies to have a global, public, high-velocity, and staggeringly high-volume conversation. They're doing it online. So we believe at WOWD that the user experience in this real-time web starts with discovery. That is, what the heck is going on out there? Independent of me, independent of what I might be interested in, let me see what's there first. So this is not meant to be read in great detail. This is the WOWD hot list. The hot list is a page, the contents of which changes dynamically and in real time. The rows break free and resort themselves to reflect the interest of people in the WOWD community, specifically their interest in these pages. So it's a velocity-based measure. As pages get more uh, interest, they break free and, and float up. And as they lose interest, people lose interest rather in them, they break free and float down. So you can use this to discover things that you wouldn't have known about. Now inside this system, you can still do search. Because we're a real-time search engine, you can, assort, you can, of course, sort by freshness. So here we're sort, searching for Halloween. We're sorting by freshness. And two things to note. One is that the results come from all over the web. So we are not hand curating or picking, say, half a dozen special websites. And we say, well, we'll be fast on those. We really hope that what you're looking for is in those six sites. In fact, we can index the entire web. And I'll explain more about that in a second. The second thing to notice is that every single result on this page is fresh in the sense that it's within ones of minutes from the time of the search. Okay? So we can do real-time search like that. We can also support search and sort the results according to what real human beings think is good. Here we've searched for Photoshop tutorials. We're sorting by popularity. The ranking here, the list and the order of elements in this list, reflects the interest of real people, human beings with a pulse and an IQ, in that content. So the obvious question is, how the heck could we get that? And I'll tell you that in a second. But also, part of the wowed idea is that having found stuff, you can then share it. So we let you share it through Facebook or Twitter, email, a variety of social media mechanisms. So how could we possibly get real-time attention of potentially hundreds of millions of people? Well, a quick hint, as Steve Jurvetson, who's on our board, says, no crawlers, no servers, and it puts users in control. Now, before you glaze over, you say, oh my god, not another network diagram. This is actually very simple. You can think of this as Skype for search and discovery. So each of these little orange boxes is a user's personal computer. They download the WOWD browser application and install it. And by so doing, they elect to join the WOWD cloud. So this is like Skype for search, and it scales magnificently. The system is designed to handle literally trillions of distinct data items, potentially URLs and hundreds of millions of users. From an investment perspective, the nice thing about this is that we can do this at extremely low cost and get extremely high performance. So what is the architecture? It's really a voting system that doesn't require an explicit vote. What happens is this user visits a web page. And because they're running the WOWD client on their machine, it, it asks itself one question. The question is, is this a publicly available page? If the answer is no, that's it. Nothing else is done. 
If the answer is yes, this page is public, publicly available to anyone on the public internet, then what happens is the cloud acts in such a way as to index that page from somewhere else. That turns out to build you an implicit voting machine, which at scale gives you a very high quality signal regarding what is good and how to rank results. Now, one of the really amazing things to me about WOW is also that the storage of this thing called the index, which you need for doing true search and ranking, is actually stored in the cloud itself. So the index is broken up into little pieces, and those little pieces are federated and stored redundantly around the nodes that participate. Now, you could look at this and say, a oh, big deal, so you don't have a thing that looks like a cylinder in the middle. You know, you must feel great. Turns out that it's not just a, a little graphical commitment. It turns out that if it's not if it's about you and it's personally identifiable, it stays with the computation about you on your machine. So there's nothing, no name, no email address, no IP address that leaves your machine that can stay anywhere in the WOWD system. So if someone wants to know what you're doing in WOWD, they have to open your computer with a screwdriver. It turns out that it profoundly puts people in control at the same time as being able to index the entire web and give real results in real time. So when we first showed John this, he said, this is fabulous. We agree with the, the statement that he made there. I'm quoting without permission. I hope that's OK. I guess it's too late if it's not. Um, <laughs> the idea in the early web was chase links. I think now you have to pay attention to what real people like. And that's exactly what we do. So I'd leave you with three key points, reasons to try WOW. One is you can discover things in real time that you wouldn't have thought to search for. You can find the freshest pages across the entire web, including the deep web. And you get results that are popular to your fellow human beings. And that turns out to be an incredibly valuable thing. So related to that, John and his folks were very generous. And they sent out an invitation. A number of you took them up on that in the various email messages that led up to this conference. And uh, you participated in this Web 2.0 experiment. As of today, we're taking the invitation protection mechanism off. So if you'd like to try it, you can. You can just go straight to wowd.com. I think you'll find the hot list very representative of the kinds of interests of people at this conference. And we encourage you to try it. And we're very eager for your feedback. So we, uh, we welcome that. Thank you very much. Thanks, John.